What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this another edition of Cub Reacts. It's the requested series. It's a Monday morning, and we're jumping into a track that was heavily requested over the weekend. Brand new from Fave. This one at Mr. Man off a brand new four track EP. Uh, all the tracks on the EP are looking like they're doing quite well. This one seems to be the most popular, so we're going to jump into this one today. I'm very excited to get into it. We did a uh, Once to Watch episode on Fave with uh, Baby Rhythm a few months ago, and uh, since then, it seems like she's absolutely exploded. So I'm very excited to jump into this one. As always, though, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you are hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, all of that good stuff. And without further ado, we are going to jump right into this one. It's just uh, an audio visualizer, but I'm sure it's going to be a good one. So let's go. Super spacey. Very different. You know you cannot tell with your mouth Will you tell with your okay. hands or respond? I mean... The immediate thing that jumps out to me, and again, I hate kind of trying to generalize and put people next to each other, but there is an undeniably similar vocal tone between Fave and Thames. There is an un it's undeniable. Like there, there is a similarity in their vocals. I'm not saying they're the same person. I'm not saying they're copying each other. I'm not saying anything along those lines, but there is a similar tonality to uh, Fave's voice, which is a lot more apparent in this than I've heard before. Um, the instrumental's nice though, kind of using spacey kind of acidic textures to kind of give this bubbling kind of otherworldly feel to the way it sounds and then on top of that as well um you've got these really kind of nice booming drums in the low end it's an interesting arrangement and i'm quite keen to see how this one's going to roll out further again we know favor has got all of the talent in the world i'm excited to see where it goes dj could you play me mr man record a little dance on the floor I like the fact you've got the lyrics at the bottom. If something on the arm I make you shiver, I could be patient with you. Till mm. you can learn to give love a honey, I could be patient with ah, you. I'm loving those harmonies we're getting behind her vocal as well. Again, she's quite experimental with the vocal lines she brings from what I've heard of her so far. Um, I like the fact that she is like not afraid to try different things, not afraid to kind of go down different kind of sonic avenues um, and just see where the journey takes her. I really like the arrangement on this one so far. Again, the instrumental is very stripped back. You've got a couple of kind of plucked pieces of instrumentation, but in general, it's all about the drum lines and the majority of the melody is coming from Fave's vocal. And that harmonic element that's coming towards the end of this verse um, definitely expands that. Again, wicked start to this one. I'm enjoying this a lot. She's got a very cool vocal, man. She's got a very cool vocal. It's very kind of uh, wide in the kind of frequency range it hits, and it has a very nice, almost natural sounding compression to it. The way it just sits on top of the instrumental and it just kind of, um, it just covers a lot of ground. You know, it feels very complete, very whole um, in the way it sounds. And in general, I'm loving where this one's going. Like, I think she's showcasing why she's become so popular so quickly. I think there's, uh, there's a lot to come from Faith in, in the upcoming years. And I think this EP, from what I've seen of it so far, especially this tune, looks fantastic. It sounds fantastic and it's being really well received. Um, I think her vocal has a big part to play in that. And again, the experimentation that she brings to it as well. You need, talk to me, talk to me. Ah. I would never fall asleep without you. I love that harmonic layer below as well. Has so much depth to it. Things you cannot tell with your mouth. Mm. We've got those big piano chords at the start of each verse as well. The start of each well, each phrase, not verse. The start of each four bar that do just give it this kind of um, almost ballad-like feel. The way we're just kind of pressing through. We've got these big keys at the start. We've got these harmonies coming in on the vocals, which appear to be almost... Um, they're becoming more and more consistent throughout the tune. We're hearing them as almost like the normalized version of the vocal. Again, it gives it a spacey kind of otherworldly, almost like kind of alienistic theme, but it's still, it's still really pleasing to listen to, you know? Um, I'm really enjoying the fact that we're, we're getting such a wide approach again i've only heard maybe three or four tunes from favor in the entire time that i've been um doing this reaction lock um and i'm always impressed um and that doesn't that doesn't change here at all if anything it increases fantastic stuff Would you follow? Would you finally say yes? 
when their mother's tell Again, you. little kind of percussive breaks like that, if you throw them into the heart of a tune, um, when it feels like it's starting to get comfortable, that's what breaks up the monotony. That's what gives it that kind of um, extra journey feel. It gives it, the, it gives it the kind of extra spark and the extra kind of spice to make it a memorable tune. There's something so simple about doing that, and I'm loving the fact we're hearing it more and more. It would have been very easy on a production level to just let this one run, but no... Add an extra level in there. Add something new in there. Add something that's going to keep the audience listening. Keep their ears open. Um, again, it's such a minor detail, but it's something that I always appreciate from a production kind of perspective is adding little breaks and little kind of things at the end of phrases just to kind of add to that transition and add to the kind of intensity of it as well. Great stuff. Put yourself deep inside my shoes Then you will know that I will never ever I want to leave you alone you See what I mean about those transitions though? Mouth, Even that please. little set of claps there That little set of claps that kind of just run through and goes like and it's, it changes the direction. It gives you a kind of, uh, it gives you not a notification that the track's about to change and about to switch up. And again, as a listener, I always find that quite a cool thing to have, that thing of being told, like, look, the track's about to change, be ready. And it almost inspires you to move. It kind of gives you like a potential place to move and then it kind of throws you in towards it. Um, again, transitions are such an important part of music that really aren't spoken about enough, especially on a production level. I feel transitions are some of the most important parts of tunes. That's the bit that throws you into a breakdown or throws you into a drop. Um, and again, I think what Faye's done on this vocal-wise has been fantastic. She has taken it to a lot of different places. She's really allowed herself to explore a few different themes, and it's been really enjoyable to listen to. From what I understand, the tune's about a wedding. Woof. Really nice. Again, getting creative on bridges is another... It's just such a useful tool for kind of closing out tunes. And I think, again, we're hearing it here. This kind of spacey, very wide um, kind of vocal layering effect. Very kind of uh, bubbly, uh, very aquatic sounding in the way the vocals are suddenly being processed and being focusing in on those kind of synth pads and things like that. Um, but again, lyric-wise, I'm pretty sure we're talking about some sort of wedding scenario. Um, obviously talking about recording a first dance and things like that. And he, she was talking about walking down the aisle and being scared to walk down the aisle early earlier on um so i'm assuming that's the sort of context again i always tend to miss things lyric wise so if i do please let me know in the comment section down below i'm keen to hear from all of you let's uh let's begin to round this one off then There we go then, people. The sounds of Fave with Mr. Man. This one, the official audio clip up on her YouTube channel right now. Uh, the full EP is out there. I'm pretty sure there's four tracks on there in total. Um, and it's been great to see. Uh, since we first listened, started listening to Fave on this channel, back with uh, Baby Rhythm, that one dropped on the Empower Africa channel. Um, that one did bits, and it was great to see how popular that tune was. Um, she's definitely one of the most exciting newcomers out there, and I think she's shown it with this EP, definitely. Um, a lot of variation on this tune in particular. I'm going to try and check out the full EP in general. If there are any other tracks off the EP you'd like me to kind of do these breakdowns for, do let me know in the comments section down below. Um, and if you haven't already, please make sure you are hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. And I hope you enjoyed the rest of your Monday, my friends. We'll see you all next time, and peace. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Cup Camp TV. Stay locked.